Hello, my name is Arielle Garten. I'm one of the founders of Muse, the brain sensing headband that helps you meditate. And I'm here today to tell you whatever you wanted to know about meditation. So what is meditation? Everybody at this point knows that meditation is good for you. It's something you should be doing. Probably you have a friend that does it. Maybe you've tried it and you're not sure if you've done it right. But there's still this sort of sense of mystery. What is meditation? Well, we're here to demystify that today. Meditation is not some weird woo-woo thing. The most common definition of meditation is a practice or a training that leads to healthy and positive mind states. That's it. A practice or a training, a thing you do regularly, like going to the gym, that's going to boost your brain to healthy and positive mind states. There are many different forms of meditation that you may have heard of. Uh, walking meditation, Zen meditation, uh, mantra-based meditation, focused attention. We're going to dive into focused attention meditation a little bit because that tends to be the first one that people learn. So in a focused attention meditation, what you're doing is you're putting your attention on a neutral object. That can be your breath or a candle or a word in the case of a mantra. And when your mind begins to wander away from that neutral object, you then notice that your mind has wandered and you make a choice instead of following your wandering thought to bring it back to the object of your attention. So you might be focusing your attention on your breath. Pretty quickly, your mind begins to wander away. You say, hey, that's my wandering mind. You notice it and you return it to your breath. Keep your attention on your breath. Your mind begins to wander away again, as all our minds do, and then you gently return it back to the present moment. Now, this might seem like a very simple action, and you're like, what's all this fuss about? Why is everybody meditating if that's all you're doing? Well, it turns out this very simple action has some pretty powerful and profound impacts in your life. So now most of us just kind of go through our life on autopilot. Your brain is just thinking itself. You've got a bunch of content in your mind and you're like, oh, I guess it's supposed to be in there. I guess this is what I'm supposed to be thinking about. Well, once you actually put your attention on something, recognize that your mind wanders and then make a choice not to follow that wandering thought, make the choice to come back to something else, you've just done something really magical. Well, not actually magical because it's really you had a choice over it. What you just did was you changed the relationship to your thoughts. You made a choice to say, nope, my brain's not going over there, it's going over here. And once you do that, you can gain control over your own thinking. So for a lot of us, those thoughts tend to be repetitive, negative, not particularly useful. When you're able to say, hey, I don't wanna follow that thought, I wanna come back to something I care about, we can take our mind off of things that are negative, stressful, frustrating, and not useful to us. When we come back to this neutral thing, we're also now strengthening our attention, our ability to attend in the present moment, the here and the now. When we're thinking, we tend to be going into not always the greatest places. When we're in the here and now, we're present to our lives and we're present to the world. Now, once you take your mind off of those negative wandering thoughts and recognize that you can have control over them, you may also begin to recognize some other fascinating things, like you are not your thoughts. You are not simply the sum total of the narratives that you tell yourself. And if you are not your thoughts and you're not those narratives, then you can begin to change those narratives about yourself and your life. Then it becomes really powerful. So this is why this very simple practice of meditation can become a powerful tool in your life to improve your attention, to help reduce your relationship to stressful and anxious thoughts, and to also actually start to help your mind and your body engage in new and very positive ways. Now that was just one simple practice focused attention. There are many different forms of meditation, some of them leaning towards the same direction and the same outcomes, some of them adding additional aspects to how you condition in your mind and your body through the practice. However you want to meditate, I recommend sit down, pay attention to your thoughts, notice when your mind is wandering, come back to the present, and see what that does for your life.